Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Barb Mitchell coming to you from virtual PTC 21. Joining me today is Greg Elliott, VP of Business Development for 1623 Farnham. Greg, welcome to JSA TV. Thanks for having me. So, you know, I think you're, you're no... Um, a rookie to these sort of talks with us, and, and we certainly know you well. Uh, but for our viewers who who may not know about 1623 Farnham, can you give us just a little background of who you are? Sure, you bet. So uh, 1623 Farnham is the carrier hotel edge data center. Uh, we're located in, in the U.S. Midwest. We're, we're located in Omaha. Um, which is which is a great spot to be uh, from a location standpoint, uh, right in the middle of the U.S., middle of North America, uh, sitting on um, north, south, east, west, and everything in between fiber routes. So uh, we're seeing seeing uh, lots of new fiber and existing fiber. So so yeah, it's a, a good place to be. Right, and and so another thing you're not new to is is. PTC. Uh, obviously, this year is a little bit different than any in the past. But what is it that that you know makes you want to attend PTC year after year, and 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 to be support, supporting it again this year in its new format? Yeah, I mean, uh, listen, we all we all would love to be in in uh, Honolulu right now, face to face. But um, it is what it is. Hopefully, next year we'll we'll be able to be there. But um, even even virtually, you know, we want to support PTC. Um, it's it's been, you know, you look at at conferences um, on a yearly basis, and you know, it's it's the you know top one, top three um, must must attend. Um, and you know, it's obviously a global conference, so that's that's great for us. Um, just being a single location right in the middle of the U.S., so um, any exposure we can get to inter international conferences. But you know, just the community um, and the attendees um, that that go to PTC is just it's just a, a must attend event. So that's why why 1623 Farnham supports and attends. Um, for years, so. Yeah, yeah. And so, you know, it's, it's here we sit in, it's January of a new year, 2021. Uh, obviously last year was a big year for, for many. And, and, you know, I know a lot has happened uh, with you at 1623 Farnham, but can you tell us sort of what is the latest with you, sort of what's ahead and some of your big milestones? Sure, uh, it's, it's uh, really exciting. Um, actually, uh, it's hard to, to know where to begin because there is so much going on. Um, I joined I joined the team about eight months ago. Um, <clears throat> so I'll just run you through some some of the um, really interesting things going on at, at 1623 Farnham. Uh, we're, we're, we're nearing the end of a almost two year forty million dollar infrastructure upgrade. Uh, so brand new cooling infra infrastructure power. Um, new fiber vaults, and so uh, we're we're in the middle of um, level five commissioning um, as we speak. Uh, so here in the next uh, month, month to two months, as we you know cut things over, uh, we're going to have a virtually brand new facility uh, with with all of the de facto carrier hotel ingredients like you know forty five carriers plus adding to that, um, and then all the, the other data center and co-location activity. Uh, so it's, it's a really exciting place to be. Uh, when, when we're done, we'll have um, eight, eight, six megawatt usable, eight, eight uh, megawatts in, in uh, capacity. So um, plenty of runway for years to come and, and uh, it's, it's a exciting place to be. So, um, you know, there's there's all kinds of things going on, which I can I, I'll drill into to more here in a second. Yeah, I mean, on that note, right? There's so many things already in the works. I mean, if you could, if you could just, I don't know, um, sort of put your finger on what are the most the things you're most excited about for 2021. You know, would you be able to narrow that down? Uh, what what do those things look like? Yeah. So. Uh, you know the the lifeblood of of a carrier hotel or, or an edge interconnect facility like ours is 
fiber. And so, you know, as I mentioned before, it's, you know, we, we, we sit right in the middle. So there's been fiber routes uh, being built um, north, south, east, west in, in the U.S. And they've, they've come through our building for years. But the really encouraging thing is that uh, we're seeing new fiber builds. So tell, our friends Telia um, had just completed a brand new fiber build from Chicago through Des Moines. Uh, through Omaha, through our building, and then on to Denver. Um, so that's that's a brand new route, and that's exciting. Uh, we have a lot of hyperscaler activity um, in the Nebraska, Iowa area. So Google Cloud has their main North American, uh, one of their main uh, North American data centers, uh, what, nine miles away from us, uh, millisecond away. Uh, so that that's creating a lot of um, new new activity, both at our building and, and fiber activity. Facebook has a couple massive data centers in the area, uh, and down the road, Amazon and Apple and in um, the Des Moines area have have big data centers. So there's just you know on top of all the carrier activity, there's the hyperscaler activity, and then layer on 5G. Uh, we have we have some carriers that have uh, 5G CRANs at our facilities, so that's you know building a high count fiber to service uh, 5G customers. So so lots of layers and levels, and um, it's it's fun to be right in the middle of it. So I also understand that you have some special initiatives underway, such as uh, the 5G Lab and the AR Challenge. Would you mind telling us a little bit about those? Sure. Yeah. There's, you know, on top of everything else, we, we've been working on to roll out in 2021 uh, a carrier neutral 5G lab. And so I mentioned um, we, we do have some carriers that have uh, 5G uh, CRANs at our, our facility. And so we've been working with them as well as other potential uh, 5G parties uh, that um, we would, we, we were going to create a, uh, space where um, if if a developer is working on a software platform or hardware, they could come to this 5G lab and take space with us and, and have access to uh, different 5G carriers to test out their software and hardware. Uh, so that's that's really interesting. Um, it's 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 a cool thing since we're you know carrier neutral and uh, we can do things like that. So that's going to be fun and then. Uh, we're, we're involved with an augmented reality challenge, and it's a community challenge, uh, ideation, and hackathon uh, around augmented reality. It's a U.S. Ignite uh, National Science Foundation and, and Facebook Labs, uh, Reality Labs um, initiative. And so between Omaha and Kansas City, uh, the, the community comes up with, with problems to solve and then solves them with, with augmented reality. Um, locally. So that's, it's, I'm very excited about that project as well. And uh, looking, looking forward to seeing what happens with, with uh, that challenge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, there's so much happening uh, with you guys, certainly a lot for people to, to stay up to date on. And I think a lot of people, a lot of our viewers will be interested in, in sort of following along uh, with this journey with, with you. Where can we direct people to find more information? Oh, sure. Uh, so our website, of course, um, 1623farnham.com. Um, and then, you know, you can always reach out to me directly that way or, or on any of the socials and, and uh, we'll get back to you right away. And, uh, you know, we love to have conversations, uh, exchange information on, you know, developing uh, technologies from 5G to IoT to VR to AI, you know all, on down the list and how that affects uh, network connectivity. Um, I've been in the business uh, in the Midwest U.S. Uh, from Kansas City at 1102 Grand to now 1623, and um, so if anybody has questions about fiber routes or data centers in the Midwest, I, you know we have so many connections and contacts that we can make. We're happy to be a resource. Uh, that way too. Yeah, great. So 1623farnham.com. And then of course, people can reach out to you directly, Greg, thank you for that. And thank you for your time here today. We really appreciate uh, that you took the time to talk to us. And, and thank you viewers for tuning in to JSA TV and JSA podcasts. Happy networking. Thank you.